Uh, Santa Cruz in Monterey Bay is really unique and one thing that makes it nice is the seasons are kind of endless here. Uh, the perch season that runs through the fall and into the winter months kind of tags on to the striper season that comes on around late February and into the spring. A good tip to consider when you're out here fly fishing the beach is to not overcast the fish. Most of the time the surf perch are going to be right in the first 10 or 20 yards of water. The trenches are formed right where the waves crash and flood the beach and the perch don't really move far from that. Today I brought out my two-handed spay rod. This is a sage method. It's 12 and a half foot and a six weight. The reason I like these spay rods is the long rod allows me to keep in constant line control and lift the lines over the waves as they come in. A big key factor out here is staying in contact with your flies. If you're not tight to your fly, you're gonna miss fish all day. We use pretty heavy leader setups here, most of the time 30 to 50 pounds. The reason we use that is there's lots of kelp in the water. And when you're battling waves and tides coming in and out, if you hook onto a big ball of kelp, you're in trouble and you're gonna snap off all the time. The 50 pound line allows us to rip through the kelp and not lose all of our flies every other cast. Another important factor is having a good solid reel. Reels and gear out here in the surf is really exposed to the elements. So you wanna have a good reel that'll last when it's covered in sand and salt water all day long and you can still pick it up and rely on it to still function the way it should. So this might look a little strange to some of you, but just like trout fishermen, you can fish multiple fly rigs in the ocean. Today I have set up about an eight foot leader. This is 50 pound, and I make perfection loops, two or three of them along this leader, spread out evenly, and on that I have a tag end with my flies hanging off of it. Usually I start with my smaller flies on top and end with my heaviest down here so when I'm making my cast it rolls over nice and evenly. I do loop to loop connections for most of my flies so if I need to change one fast on the beach all I simply do is push it through, pull it off, add on a new one and pull it back on. And it's just as simple as that. Another thing to consider when you're fishing out here is to keep moving. If you're not getting bites or strikes in one area, don't be afraid to take 20 steps up or down the beach and start fishing again. A lot of times, the fish won't move very far, but they could be just off to your right or left. And if you're not willing to pack it up and move a little bit, you might have a really slow fishing day. If you're out here fishing the beach, a lot of times you want to keep it nice and light and as easy as possible on yourself. Since you're carrying everything with you up and down the beach, you don't want to be lugging around bags and bags of things. So one thing I like is these sling packs made by Sims or sling packs in general. It's nice and light. It keeps everything off to one shoulder so it doesn't affect your cast as much. Another important tool that we like to use is a good fly box that has a waterproof seal in it. A lot of times we're taking waves on and we're getting wet out here. So you want to keep all of your flies and your gear protected as best as you can. One of the most important and crucial tools we use out here in the surf fishing game is a stripping basket. You can find a variety of these all over. A lot of fly shops carry different ones. This one I actually made myself out of a camping sleeping pad. But uh, they all work just the same and whatever fits you and your fishing style the best. There's the weight waste basket type. This is a bucket style and they all work.